Hi guys, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Subaraj. In this video session, we can view types of errors in JavaScript. So, in JavaScript, there are three types of errors commonly in other programming languages. How we are finding the errors, same like in our JavaScript. First one is syntax errors. Second one is runtime errors. Third one is logical errors. What is the meaning of syntax errors? Now, first we can view the definition. Syntax errors are also called as parsing errors. Occur at compile time for traditional programming languages. At interpret time for JavaScript. Simple one through a sample example. I can explain very clearly this syntax errors information. Now, this example we can view doc type html header section script type is equal to text or javascript head closed and i am going to write some statements here document dot write welcome to live script very basic i am showing so if you are running this script successfully get executed that is output now syntax error we need to find out syntactical rules for example double quotation you opened double quotation you didn't close that is a syntax error here semicolons not compulsory because script is weakly typed programming or loosely typed programming if you want you can keep that is not a matter now for example here Parenthesis opened, not closed. Yes, not closed. Now, nothing output. Syntax error. So, this is parenthesis you opened and not closed. It is the best example for the syntax error. Okay, close it. Good. Perfect this one now. Run it. Now, for example, double quotation opened, not closed. Syntax error. So, syntax error related to rules whatever the rule we need to follow to write the script if the rule you are deviating it comes under syntax error now come to second line let me take okay this is perfect now now the same line i am copying and paste in the second line i am saying single quotation yes perfect now i want to run this simply one break tag also i am adding for the next line by default it displays in the single line you know that already in the previous video sessions i explained two lines now this i am modifying as javascript because javascript original name is live script okay now for example i want to double quotation single quotation now i want to remove here double quotation out program now add a double quotation for example i am removing here single quotation syntax error is affecting to total program actually interpretation means what and here if this line is correct this line is wrong this will get executed there is interpretation but here correct it is a wrong but total program not executing syntax error reflect to all statements of the program let runtime error we can see what is the meaning of runtime errors? First definition we can see, then I'll show you. These errors are called as exceptions, occur during execution, after compilation or interpretation. The following example causes runtime error. Maybe the syntax is correct, maybe method not existed. Okay, good. Now we'll go there and remove this. Cut it a few seconds. Now break also not required. Yes. Now method not existed output nothing existed now method correctly you are providing for example output perfect so this is a best example of the runtime error now for example i am giving next statement yes single quotation closed yes refresh perfectly executed now the mistake i did here second one method not existed 
first one executed. You observed, I think, syntax error, runtime error. Syntax error, total statements. Runtime error, wherever the mistake existed, that statement. Now, for example, write OK, here not existed. Now, it reflects total program, means nothing executed. Because in JavaScript, first statement is not get executed. Cursor unable to move to next line because it is an interpretation. So, no line get executed. Now, this is runtime errors. These runtime errors purpose in JavaScript we are having try, catch, finally throw. This is we are calling as exceptional exception handling mechanism. So, now we can view that exception handling mechanism. First definition we can see. Observe, try, catch, finally, okay, first try, catch block we can see. It allows you to test a block of code for errors. Block of code for errors. The try block contains the code to be run. Catch block contains the code to be executed. There is a difference. Now, I will show you practically that. First syntax you can try to see. Try, code to be run catch and whatever exception required finally this block always get executed first try catch i'm going to be now for example okay alert with with alert i'll show you effectively alert i'm giving welcome to exception simple example i'm writing welcome to exceptions alert thank you simple statement i'm writing thank you now you can run it both are perfect statements no doubt it will welcome to exceptions and thank you now, I did the mistake here. Even though no problem, first statement get executed. Right? And second statement not executed. If I did the mistake here and it, this, this statement is correct, means this method is correct, now nothing happens. In that situation, how I am applying try, you can observe. Try, catch, alert, e dot description. Now, I am executing. Perfect undefined thank you perfectly executed now what try catch is doing once again try is ex the code to be run so that that means it is not correcting the program it is not correcting the program it is checking the code without struck but then you are thinking maybe oh your only t miss missed out you can keep the t sir that one so why we are implementing unnecessarily try catch there so, actually it is not for the spelling mistakes. Spelling mistakes also comes under runtime errors. I shown one example. In the live environment, where exactly we are using? Okay. There is a method available here, evaluate global function. Not exactly method that one, it is a global function. So, I am using that eval, you can observe now. So, remove this completely. Let me where, you know that x is equal to prompt enter required number or numbers as you like no problem and default number also i am giving with the comma and i am giving default number 500 closed so now i am taking that number alert eval of x alert success successfully executed alert thank you right run it now Come down to your browser. Any number you can enter. 500 is already is there. Minus 400 plus 100. S yes, executed 200 perfectly. Next statement successfully executed. And next statement is thank you. Out. So now we can view that. So in this area, non numerical numbers I am entering. Non numerical means I entered, for example, my name. That's all program out. In this situation, I want to show to my user, if he entering numerical values, I will show you output. Non-numerical values, I will show you message. What message? Sorry, alphabets invalid. So, in this situation, try catch is perfectly fit. Observe now. Now, I am going to take try, try block, catch, e, any variable you can use, alert, e dot, description our message is required means you can i'm writing sorry alphabets invalid plus yes perfect catch now come down execute now i'm entering numbers 
yes for example 1 plus product 65 minus something so it is giving unnecessarily one space i use it is saying because sorry alphabet is invalid right only numbers i am entering now 500 already is there otherwise 400 minus 400 plus 99 minus something perfectly value output successfully executed thank you perfectly executed now non numerical value any alphabet for example I entered again Raju that is all sorry alphabets invalid successfully executed thank you means immediately the program is not terminating it is saying the mistake what you did so this is try catch here we can implement even finally what is finally doing the above statements perfectly executed maybe with try or without try that we can see finally block now for example finally i am writing alert this finally block always get executed right refresh now without any mistake executed i am doing mistake now i am executing with my name entry or some alphabets message displayed finally block always get executed successful thank you so finally block always giving that information is the above statements get executed successfully thank you for watching my videos for more videos please log on youtube.com slash